Hey you guys, happy Sunday! Today I'm going to be attempting to do a slick back natural hairstyle on myself. I've never tried this hairstyle before just because I feel like I've been very insecure about my head shape. But since I've grown up, I noticed that like, don't care. At the end of the day, it's your head shape. So go ahead and embrace it. Okay, so I'm starting off on my fresh hair. I only I had this hair in four braids. What am I talking about? I had my hair in four braids. I had already prepped it and everything. So I'm just combing it out just to make sure that there's no tangles. And I was going to do a middle part. That's why I'm doing a middle part right here. But I changed my mind. As you can see, my middle part did grow back. That little section that I taught was never going to grow back. Grew back. So I'm going to link my hair growth oil in the description box so you guys can check it out. And also my mommy's hair butter. Because this is what I'm going to be using today to seal in my moisture. Then I was like, hmm, let me just brush all this hair back and see if I can do a low ponytail or something because my hair is kind of thick so i didn't i didn't know how this was gonna go it was just like a random thing so i decided to record myself so you guys can see me so i'm just going to put my hair into a loose low ponytail just so i can start the molding process and i got these big hair ties from my local beauty store i do recommend these because they don't pull your hair out i'm going in with just plain room temperature water just to make sure that my hair is easy to manage and i'm not um breaking my hair I'm using a Demon brush to remove any extra tangles from my roots. And now I'm going in with my Design Essentials Natural Hair Leave-In Conditioner. This is the Avocado and Almond Line. What am I talking about? Avocado and Almond Line. Yeah. So I'm just using that to put some moisture in my hair and then I'm going to go in with my mommy's hair butter to just seal in that moisture. You always want to use a deep uh, leave-in conditioner and then use your mommy's hair butter always because the hair butter is going to seal it and retain the length but you need a moisture to seal, okay? I'm going in with my mommy's deep <laughs> my mommy's intense hair growth oil and i'm going to put that all over my edges and my hair this is what grows my hair back super fast because it's healing my scalp it healed my scalp and it's stimulating the hair growth so i'm going to link all of these down below if you guys are interested so you guys can get one and i'm just going to brush that in and guys this is my first time ever doing this um slick back hairstyle so this was a trial and error and i actually don't like edge booster i noticed that but you guys are gonna see all my fails and how i fix it and i'm just gonna put that all over my hair and as you can see the edge booster turned white and it started like making little ball type stuff and i'm like what in the world but i've never tried this before so i just kept going and showing you guys my mistakes and how i fixed it so i'm brushing that in and as you can see it's white and that never happens with no other gel. And I always do this routine with my hair butter and everything and that never happens. So I decided to put some water just to see if that was going to help and it didn't. So I'm still running, running my hands. And as you can see, it's starting to make little white balls. So I went in with my soft brush and I'm just brushing the hair back just to give it that smooth feel. And you want to keep going back and forth with the Deadman brush and the soft brush just to get that smooth hairstyle that you want. You don't want it to be bumpy at all. And now that the hair is smooth, I'm just going to go back in and reinforce that ponytail. I'm actually doing it very loose because this is not the end result yet. And as you can see, we're getting somewhere, so we're going to keep going. So now I'm just going to take out the edges or whatever I want to do for the edges. I'm just going to remove that just so I can start molding it and sculpting it. I'm putting some of that same edge booster gel and I'm going to start molding how I want the edges to lay before I use my edge control. You want to do this because this is going to give you a guide and then you're going to be able to just mold everything into place because you already have that guide.
So now I'm gonna go in with my Ebon Extra Strong Edge Control, and I'm gonna use this to lay down the edges and put it in place. Oh, and I actually used some on my hair too, and this literally hard proofs your hair. You can also spray some got to be if you want, but I'm like, my hair is not straight, so I don't really mind it. And the edge control literally gets rid of any flyaways that will possibly try to come up. And then you're going to go back in with your Denman brush and your soft brush and reinforce that smoothness and make sure that everything is smooth and not bumpy. And once you're done doing that, you're going to remove your head tie, but make sure that you're holding your hair super tight because you don't want it to mess up at all. And remove that head tie, that hair tie, and just tighten it up. And with me having these long nails, I couldn't I couldn't put back the hair tie in my hair tight enough, so I did get my sister to help me. So if you have long nails and you you could do it, I amend you. If you can't, ask somebody in your household to help you. Like, bruh, you want this to be so tight because if it's not, it's going to have like little lumps in it. So, yeah. I do want to do this hairstyle again though because it was really cute. But this is how it looks. It wasn't like crazy tight to where it hurt my head. So thank you, Jose, for helping me do this. And I'm going to go back in with the edge control again and fix up the edges. So guys, the, the edges part is literally a trial and error. This takes the longest, so I'm just going to play some music and you guys can watch me um, get it to my desired style. If you guys want a more detailed edge, edge video, I will link one in the eye above on your right hand side so you guys can check it out. I did have one where I was putting a wig on and that one is very detailed. It's more detailed than this one because I'm just going to fast forward this and then I'll come back to talk to y'all. And then I'm just touching up the front areas of the hair and I'm using the comb part in the edge brush to smooth out the hair. This is a pro tip. When you do this, it literally gets rid of any bumps, tangles, anything. And just, oh, it just smooths your hair out really good. So I recommend doing this with the edge brush, the comb side. And then just reinforce your edges and make sure that everything is looking how you want it to look and you're pleased. And then I'm done. I'm just using my hand to smooth it out. And this is basically the look. I did go ahead and keep going back to make sure that my edges are the way that I want it to look. Because it was like, bruh, I need my edges to look like nice, okay? So I will always keep going back and just fixing it a little bit. And making sure it's how I want it to look until I'm pleased. Because at the end of the day, I feel like the edges is the, the life of the party, okay? So make sure that it's how you want it to look so you're going to enjoy this hairstyle. I went in with my scarf just to lay down the edges for five minutes and my hair just to set that in place. And I was just pulling out my pulling out my hair. 
and I decided to do one big twist because it just looked nice and sleek so all I did was twist it like regular I did not put no bobby pins or anything in my hair I just twist it and then I lock it in place with another hair tie wrap it around and lock it in place And boom, this is so classy and cute. Like you could wear this to go anywhere. It's a simple hairstyle. It's your natural hair. If you want it to be, if you want your bun to be a little bit bigger, you can add in some extensions to the back. You can do this and add like a kinky um, braid, like those extension braids. You can do it and add a kinky twist anything so i really like this look thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video do not forget to thumbs up i am in love i'm gonna be doing this hairstyle again let me know if you like this hairstyle if you did this hairstyle before i have never did this hairstyle before i normally do middle parts or like side parts or something but i've never did like a pure slick back but i actually enjoyed this look thank you guys so much for coming to my channel and checking out my channel and i hope i see you in my next one don't forget to check out more of my content i will link them up in the eye above and the description box and don't forget to check out tropic touches for your natural hair products bye